how is it for you to come from a USA to a small European country like Germany? It's cold as hell. You are playing in a franchise which is so huge and now there are remakes of it. How is it for you to be in that franchise? It's, it's, it's surreal. I don't think, well, I can't speak for everybody. I can just speak for myself. I had no idea that, that uh, the Elm Street would even turn into the whole, that the film would turn into a franchise and that it continues to grow and live on and, and the fans are just, uh, it's, it's been a big surprise for me to, to discover just how hugely popular that the, the films are still. Yes, because if I had known that Nightmare was going to be this big, I would have kept all of my stuff. I would have been rich because I threw everything away. I had no clue. And just so you know, for the record, Kincaid is the first African-American to ever survive a horror film and return to a sequel all over the world. So, you know, I had no clue that Nightmare on Elm Street were going to be in my life when I got to be in my 20s. What about your favorite Hulk Hogan movie? My favorite what? Hulk Hogan. What about him? You haven't uh, any favorite Hulk Hogan movie? Oh, okay. That's... That's oh, that's so totally interesting because in Germany everyone has his favorite Falk Hogan movie. So I thought maybe in America it is too. I'm sure there are some people who, who do. Oh. But so I she's keeping me out of trouble. Fan. She's keeping me out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I get to take it's her like along. What Ken is saying, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> yes. and what he really means. Yeah. No.